Yo dudes, ML here with another vloggity vlog. Hope you're having a good day. It's a beautiful, beautiful sunny day here in uh, sunny England Shire. 17 degrees, which is not too bad. The sun is out, so I'm feeling good. Today I'm gonna go off to the farm and see the boys. I haven't been up there for about a week and a half, so I thought I'd go and say hello to everyone. Uh, see Scal, see Muz, see Andy, see everyone up there. I've started to actually bleep out my swearing now. I know it's a little bit annoying, but I thought that was one of the main reasons why I was losing revenue. I'm not in this game to sort of just make loads of money. I don't think you're ever going to make a huge amount of money being a YouTuber, but as long as I can sort of be comfortable, that would be great. My plan eventually is to give up my car sales job. Obviously, I, I run a, a car business. I buy and sell used cars. I've been doing it all my life. For me to do YouTube full time, it's going to take, you know, quite a lot of time and resources. Um, at the moment, I just don't make enough money to do it full time. But I'm hoping in the next sort of couple of years, I'll see how this whole channel thing goes and how many sort of brands I can get on board. But yeah, eventually I'd like to try and do this YouTube full time. Mainly I'll be able to do uh, videos near enough every single day. I can sort of devote my time to editing and camera work and making things rather than trying to sell cars and do both. I do find it quite a big mission now trying to do both things at once. My business is pretty full on. Obviously I work seven days a week. Saturdays and Sundays are pretty much my busiest days because most people are free on a Saturday or Sunday to come and look at a car. Hopefully one day my ad revenue will go back up to where it was or I mean even at where it was it wasn't enough to sort of give up my car sales business. I want to say a massive thank you though to the patrons. I've got about 205 people on my patron now. Um, if I'm honest with everyone else who's watching who's not a patron, without those guys I literally wouldn't be able to be making videos every sort of two or three days like I, like I do now. So yeah, I just want to say a massive, massive thanks to the patrons. Obviously the patrons get quite a few cool things for being patrons uh, they get exclusive gold ml decals or the monkeys um, i don't actually sell stickers anywhere else it's the only place you can actually get decals to represent the monkey london brand um, also i do things like passenger rides i let them post uh, questions and answers which you'll see in the previous videos I, I read out all their questions i post up pictures of their cars or their name i give them a little shout out on the channel which is pretty cool if you're watching this and you fancy a few of those cheeky benefits and you really want to help me progress my channel help me get to japan and australia Australia and New Zealand to check out all these drift scenes around the world. As you can probably tell from the USA tour, um, when Monkey goes abroad, he's a little bit naughty. Lol. Nom, nom. Oi, oi. Woo -hoo. I'm going to be up at the farm, well, in about 30 seconds because I've been talking the whole journey. So we shall see you up there. Peace. We're at the farm. <laughs> Andy Pandy. Mr. Taylor. <laughs> I spy a very, very sexual car in Muzzy's unit. Oh my God. Jack West Mods, you, sir, have just gone up in my books. This is sexual. Look at the dish on this, man. Look at this whole car. Wow, have you bought this for a customer? Yes, we have. Before we start, Jack West Mods, right down here. Give him a follow, because, yeah, he brings in sexual cars. What sort of horsepower is this, Moose? Let's have a quick look. Let's look at the crown jewels first. Oh, man. God. This is the tidiest SR Bay I've ever, ever, ever seen. What turbo is that? G ready or Greddy? TDL 6 25. It's TDL 6, so it's, and it's got the little exhaust house, similar to mine actually. Yeah, no, I've got a TDL 6, what am I talking about? But it's got the similar size exhaust housing. Yeah, exactly. Oh, mate, this is so lovely. What's the body kit, man? It's a custom made one. Actually, I've never seen, this car has got so much. Is this the one that you showed me that actually drifts? Yeah, this so it's not just, it's not just a stance car. No, it's a drift car. Although it has got maximum stance. Look at that fitment. Whoa. What wheels are these? Workverse KFs. Oh, look at the poke on the rear. This is crazy, dude. All custom rear tubs. All the shots are done. Yeah, man. Oh, let's have a look. Put my light on the back. Ooh. MCR factory roll cage, which have been painted by them. So, oh, it's an MCR, sick man. Yeah, they paint the roll cage. You see one of Yeah, it's got like a sort of fleck on the uh, yeah, on the gold. Yeah, oh man! Look at the gauges. That's sick. What ECU's are you running? Do you know? Uh, a Pepsi Power CD Jet Row, so it's mathless. So yeah, so no. Turbos. Yeah. Mate, this is beautiful. Apart from the only thing it needs is a new seat, but all of these cars come in with a bit of a dodgy seat on them. Lovely extended front wings, vented, oh man, carbon fibre vents. Let's just get back so we can actually truly appreciate how sick this car looks. Oh, oh, <laughs> it's got like a shotgun exhaust. <laughs> what about this custom intake? In the manifold looks sexy, man. Yeah. Sexy tubs. Oh, this car is really nicely done. Oh, and the bullet, the bonnet's pretty cool as well. It's like a rising sun painted on the underneath. Yeah. Carbon fibre mirrors. Right, one sec, let me just take these. 
<laughs> the only thing with me personally, I love this car, don't get me wrong, but for me, it's a little bit too stance car. Front camera is acceptable. The rear camber is a bit too much. But this car does actually skid in Japan, so it obviously drives pretty well, but I'm not so much into that massive sort of poke, but I quite like how they've done all the gold bolts on the over fenders as well. That looks really, really smart, because I think mine's just got like wood screws in it or something, but nice cheeky little hydro. What gearbox is it running, Moose? Nismo 6 like what I've got in mine. Yeah. So yeah, it's got the Nismo strength in close ratio gearbox, yeah. yeah. It. And it's got a sunroof as well, which is pretty cool. Are they uh, Xenon headlights? Yeah. Nice. Mr. Moose is going to quickly start it up. It's so loud, so we really can't start it up for more than about five seconds, but let's hear it, bad boy. Look at them shotguns. Very nom nom. Sounds like it's got a pretty gnarly set of cams. Look yeah. at that. Ultimate stance car. Very, very stretchy tyres. So not only is he Project Drift, he's also Project Valeting. Show us your skills, man. <laughs> Andy messaged me this morning. He wasn't a happy bunny because he's got a cracked windscreen, but I reckon he's been doing some duggets. Bye. Well, some of you, lot, most of you have really enjoyed the S15, like I have. Um, some of you have been saying, we've been missing a bit of 1J. So, ta-da! Sora! The old girl is back out. She is coming out to play. Here she is, looking sexy, sexy mother trucker. She's still looking absolutely pimp. All these marks are, uh, are, are times of history this car has had. Got the rear bumper. The rear bumper's looking pretty sorry for itself. We're gonna, probably going to port power the car a little bit just to make it look a tiny bit more attractive. So yeah, it's, it's the not the last hurrah. The Sora is going to come back out. We're going to have a bit more 1J on the channel. Don't forget also we've got the PS13 1JZ being built. So there's going to be plenty of 1JZ coming up. Do not worry. And I'm sure at some point in the next few years, hopefully I'll buy a JZX90 Chaser or Cresta out in Japan through power vehicles and go and do some skids at Ibisu. But yeah, very, very exciting. Right, let's go and see Mr. Scouse. And on my arrival to Carson Performance, we have a gorgeous, gorgeous JZX90 Cresta. Oh, man, it makes me want another. What do you think? Is that yours? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I saw that shameless plug. This is really, really nice. If some of you guys watched my really early videos, I actually used to have a JZX90 Cresta, so it's nice to see another one. I always like the rear lights on these. I think they look super, super sexual. Carson, Carson, Carson. We strong flex, strong flex. How you doing, bro? Hey, man. Nice to see you. Give us a hug. Hey, Brown, you, you, man. Oh man, trying to look like Mizzy. What, what are you doing? <laughs> How you doing? What are you working on? This fine Ooh. Steve. I'll be 25 from Neo, or normal I'll be 25. Normal. I uh, was at NA Auto. What, so what have you guys done? Manual swap and uh, RB25 turbo? Yeah, yeah, just sorting out the intercooler now. Sexy! I'll actually put a link up. We actually did a review, not a review, it was a really random weekend when I had a, I had a lot of fun with the chap that used to own it. But yeah, this is a 1JZ S14. It's got some dish on it, man. Yeah, man. Mate, what size are these? Many. 12s? 11s? Many. Oh, bit of 1JZ goodness. So it's not it's non VVTI, this is it? It's the older yeah. 1J. It's very sexy, this. Lovely car, this man. What's going on with this one, Jay? Um, I'm just taking the fuel round injectors off. He's getting the injectors tested. Um, right, a bit of basic maintenance. Just, yeah, just a few bits and pieces, really. Sweet, man. Changing up the fuel system. Yeah. Lovely car, this dude. Lovely. Don't forget, as well, Jamie Kay's doing a deal for Monkey London fans. Check down here for the Strong Flex UK discount. Get yourself some sexy, cheap bushes. Everyone likes a bit of bush. Oh. We love scouts. What's up, bro? <laughs> Long time no see. Oh, how's your tan? My tan's tan game strong. <laughs> I don't think I was liked in the USA though. <laughs> you seen my latest video yet? No. Nah. Watch, watch it, it. you'll have a few giggles. Scousey actually sells Achilles top 123s. 123s. 123s, yeah. So yeah, if you want to get some sexual Achilles in your life, um, give him a shout down here. I'm sure he'll do you a cheeky deal if you mention Monkey London. Probably put the price up, but I tried. <laughs> Over here we've got the sexual Monkey London official S15 drift car. Oh, I do have a bit of a scrape, as you would have seen in previous episodes down here. Went into a tire wall ever so slightly, but yeah, nothing that can't be machine polished out. OP oil stickers on there, battle stage. <gasps> What's this? Well, ah, oh, yeah, my fuel pump arrived. Big up Garage D. As always, give Garage D a follow down here. Very sexual <laughs> fuel pump. 340 litres per hour. And what the Walro one's 255. Yeah. Project Drift. Anything exciting on in here? Uh, Sam's car. Sick. One James Z. Andy was saying basically 
Sam bought a new engine, which was from an auto. Yeah. And it still had... That in the crank. Yeah, I get you. And when you do the conversion, you're meant to remove that. Does that mean the input shaft can't sort of fully engage? Well, it can slide in, but you're meant to have a uh, spigot bush yeah, in yeah, this yeah. crank. And you can see where the actual input shaft of the gearbox... It's been catching it. Yeah, it was just basically wearing and oh, fouling on that. So it didn't, it didn't fuck the gearbox up, though? Hopefully not. It's got a nice little clutch line. Braided brake lines. What coilovers are they? Time coilovers? Like yeah, yeah, Super Streets or something? Yeah, or the, or the mono, mono Pros? Or, oh, winding... Yeah, I know the ones you mean. Drift spec. Yeah. So they're actually quite good. Am I right saying these are 720 arms? Yeah, yeah I can notice from the colour. Yeah, what good. are they like? They're any good? Yeah, they seem alright. We fitted all those. Sick, man. Sam's probably really keen to sort of do a dug it in this. So it'd be nice to see him out there driving, thanks to Mr. Project Drift. Don't worry, this is going to be getting some work done to it soon. Andy's just been mega, mega busy. Obviously, he's got to put a load of money into this. So, um, so yeah, obviously, he's got to work to build the funds to make the car. Money. Yeah, a load more money. He's already spent, like, let's not go there. Yeah, um, yeah the car's looking very sexual. Yeah. He's, we've got an ATL fuel cell and all sorts of madness going in this car. But do not worry, the ML Stroke Project Drift uh, drift car will soon be coming out for some smoky duggets. Mm, hey, gorgeous. Fist bump. Fist bump on James Ed. The How's your head? Yeah, right. Good. And he's finally finished cleaning his car. 17 hours later. It does look very sexual though. 17? Yeah, he spent 17 hours on this. How's the world's hottest couple? Cold. Yeah, it is cold. Mate, I think it's 32 degrees, man. <laughs> it's freezing. Hello. I shall be closing the video off here. It's been very nice to catch up with me old muckers. Um, and he's going to be doing a bit of work on the Sora for Georgie and I over the next few days So we'll probably come up and catch up with him and help out or cause a nuisance um, Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video as always give us a like if you like me give me a dislike if you think I'm a wanker Put any comments down here and I'll do my best to get back to you and we shall see you all soon Bye Shake